make sure and remind myself at the very top that all wins at the end of the day are pretty. Um, certainly, that was ugly for stretches, um, but very, very pleased with the resiliency. I, I, and I could sense it a little bit just even going into Wednesday's game. We've been together so much. We've been on the road. A um, little just mental fatigue, just some edge edge to us. Um, some good, some not good, and I think it'll be good. It's certainly great that we got this win. Now get off for a couple days and, and, and just you know um, catch our breath for a minute. How nice is that Vinny driving the bus for you? Uh, extremely nice, right? I can be a heck of a passenger when he's driving the bus. So it's just, I don't know. I mean, you know, Vinny's a really, really good player. And because of his it factor that he has, the understanding of moments, he becomes a great player. And, and, and you saw that for the better part of 40 minutes tonight. Out of balance as you guys, I mean, Vinny has 31, but then your secondary scores are all kind of right. The same. Is that the best version of the bus? Um, God, you know, I, I, I understand from a box score perspective when you look at it. You know, I just I wasn't pleased with our urgency to start. Um, you know, we're, we've two games in a row now. We've had 14 and 15 turnovers. You know, just some things like that. Um, but but it's nice. You know, you saw Sam get back and do Sam Sam type things. Um, I, I thought Cameron Hunter was was really good in the first half in particular. Just we got when we went back and and got in that rhythm and routine with the. You know, those guys to close out this, the, the first half, we weren't going to make any subs, too. But um, just certainly encouraged top to bottom. What went into that run towards the back end of the first half? Of yeah, I think everything with us starts with getting stops. And we were able to get some stops. And um, when we get stops, we can get out and transition, get some easy ones. And, and then, obviously, you know, Vinny just went lights out for, for a minute there and um, hit six threes. And any time someone does that, you're going gonna to be able to, to gap it a little bit. You alerted to turnovers. How do you go about coaching those out of the game, especially when you kind of want to play your cleaner kind of out? Yeah, I, I think that's certainly a, a fair point this time of year. You know, we've been doing such a great job of it. We've been in the top 10 in the country, according to 10 Palm, in, in our, you know, turnovers per possession. And, um, so I don't want to, you know, freak out about it, but certainly go back and look at some things. We've played some, some more athletic teams that can speed you up and do some things. Um, but at the end of the day, it just comes down to, you know, passing, catching, and doing the little things that we practice, you know, that, that might seem boring to a lot of teams, but that we pride ourselves on. I like Burns starts out the game seven for seven or eight for eight. What does it say about your leadership? You know, they're up six, up eight on your home floor. And it doesn't seem like a lot of panic. Yeah, and, and I think that's, of all the things that we have going on, right, right, Ross, right now, it's that right there. Um, and that's, that's obviously, at the end of the day, it's great. Certainly, as a, from a coaching perspective, it's frustrating at times, too, because I think our guys, you know, have that ability, which is really, really encouraging. But I'm, I'm trying to instill in them just, the, just every moment to be that better version of ourselves so we don't get down 10. You know, we, we, you know we're up 13. We we're up 15 in the second half. We have the ability to take that to 18. Uh, we've got to get better. We get a little lackadaisical at times. But at the very end of the day, I wouldn't trade, you know, just the – the it factor, like we talked about, the competitive spirit in, in a lot of our guys. Thank you. Um, I think we went on a run late in the end of the first half. Um, we were getting some stops, and we were really pushing them on transition and getting some easy buckets. Um, I think there was a little bit of a run in the second half as well. Um, but overall, we, uh, we need to just continue to grow and continue to keep getting better. Um, we obviously didn't play our best brand of basketball tonight, but um, we have way too many turnovers and some other things. But, you know, it's good to win on nights where you don't play well. The Oral Roberts obviously was a test the last time. What was the game plan coming in today against? Uh, stop those guards in transition um, and get those big guys off the glass. Uh, they're really dynamic in transition, those guards. I mean, they shoot it pretty well. Um, they do a good job of playing with pace, and those big guys do a good job of crashing. Um, and so our main goal is today were to stop them in transition and keep them off the old glass. And did this feel as close to normal for you as any game since your injury? Yeah, I mean, my body, like the last week, has felt 100% fine. Um, it's just kind of been getting back into the rhythm of things on offense and um, just getting back playing with all the guys and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, today was probably the most comfortable I've been um, just back on the court. Yeah, did it make a difference that they uh, they were all with their best player was out today? Um, I mean, Nezikwesi is a big body, and he gets a lot of rebounds for him. Um, so I mean, I, I still think we we rebounded pretty well um, with him out. Um, and I mean, when you take a six whatever ten two sixty post player out of the game, it's gonna 
um, kind of open things up for um, other players to get rebounds. So. Burn started the game with either seven for seven or eight for eight. Is there a level of frustration, or, or what kind is going through your guys' mind when a guy just cannot miss? Um, you know, our, our urgency and um, our effort on defense wasn't there uh, to start the game again today. Um, and we understand it's something that we got to work on. Um, and it's tough. You know, he's coming off of a, a 30 point game. Um, you know, he's been playing really well. And so, I, I mean, it's tough to stop a guy when his confidence is that high when he comes in. But, um, you know, we just got to do a better job of being more urgent on defense and uh, making every bucket that he gets tough. And I don't think we did that to start the game today. What changed that many for you guys in the second half? Because you, you shut him down uh, in the second half. Uh, we really started gapping it up a little bit. Um, our on ball presence was a little better. Um, and, you know, he started doing other things. He started finding other people. And so I don't think it was all of what we did. Um, I think our on-ball presence really helped that a lot, though. Any career high 31 tonight? Can you reflect on that a little bit? Uh, my teammates did a really good job of finding me uh, in situations <laughs> where I can be successful. You know, early in that first half, um, transition, they were finding me. Um, they were penetrating, kicking, and finding me. And so they did a really good job 